Good morning, Weber's class. Good morning. 5.5 number lines with fractions, decimals, and percents. Can you use number lines to plot points? Yes. Uh, what's another name for a tick? Interval. Beautiful. Number lines, we know they're really good tools. Conversions, we know that means change. Convert means to change. Good. Uh, conversion review really quick. Um, I need you guys to be fast on this one. Uh, how do you go from a fraction to a decimal? Divide. How do you go from a decimal to a fraction? We can the face value. How do you go from a percent to a decimal? Divide. How do you go from a decimal to a percent? Notice how I have these little like um, bunny hops, right? Okay. Yeah. How do you go from a percent to a fraction? What does the word per mean? And a fraction to a percent. There's two steps. Step one is. Divide. Step two is. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Um, notice the three points that I asked you to plot, all in different forms, right? We have a decimal, we have a fraction, and we have a percent. Notice the number line up here that we need to plot them on is in what form? So in order to plot a decimal on a fraction number line, we needed to convert the decimal into a fraction. In order to convert, well, a fraction is a fraction. That was easy, right? But what do we have to do, though? Notice the number line has denominators of 10, right? We had to change our denominator so that we actually got it so it has an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 10, right? And then how do we, um, uh, what do we need to do to the percent to get it on the number line? We needed to convert it to a fraction. fraction, and then we needed to make sure we got a fraction that had a base or a um, denominator of 10, yeah? Okay. Yeah. Um, this one did not necessarily use a number line, but we had to get all four of these numbers into the same form, right? Yeah. We actually got them in a fraction form, but then we realized, oh my God, common denominator is really hard because you can't compare them until they have common denominators, right? Yeah. So we said, well, let's not use fractions. Let's use... Yeah. Once we got all of our decimals, so all of these were converted down here. Once we got all of our decimals, we stacked them, and we were able to put our numbers in order. Yes, no? Yes. Oh, you guys are so smart. And then the last one here, same idea. You had these four numbers. We had a decimal number line. We needed to get them all into – we needed to get them all into – Into the same form, which was a – Decimal. We feeling good? Yeah.